Good afternoon and welcome to this edition of CargoCast, the voice of international air cargo. With me today is Stéphane Lefay, Director of Paris Vatry Airport in France. Stéphane, thank you so much for joining me again today. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you, Nadia. Last time we spoke, you outlined your business profile. Are you pleased with your 2017 results? Yes, yes, we do. We do, Nadia, certainly. Uh, it was a very good uh, good year for us, and uh, we processed uh, about 17,000 tons of freight. Sorry, and it was uh, it was a, a good um, a good year for us. And how does that compare to previous years? Well, it was it represents an increase of uh, 34 percent. And what's your forecast for 2018? Well, we we just want to to operate perfectly the regular flights uh, which we have with Airbridge Cargo. This is very important for us. Uh, it represents uh, uh, two flights a week, and we expect to, uh, to handle uh, three flights a week as soon as possible. OK, and can you tell me your ambitions for Vatry Airport, both short and long term? Yeah, on the long term, uh, Vatry is, uh, is able to handle 200,000 tons of freight per year. So it means, of course, we have a lot of space, we have a lo very large warehouses, and we are able to handle uh, this, uh, this freight. So building on the airport like this, are there any investors involved in this? Not yet, but we have a lot of discussions by now with, uh, with potential investors. You know, Vetri is uh, is very close to the Paris area, so it means uh, uh, we have a lot of uh, air freight very close to Paris Vetri, and uh, I would say we have the best of Paris, uh, but without any restrictions. And finally, Stefan, in view of the takeover of much traditional air cargo by Amazon and other similar companies, how do you see that impacting Vatry and other airports like yours? Well, we are very, uh, of course, aware uh, about what could be going on with, uh, in Europe, especially in Europe, of course, uh, for the following months. Uh, of course, Vatry could be the perfect place to uh, handle and operate uh, that kind of uh, e-business, I would say. We are discussing with, you know, with a lot of uh, companies on the investors and the e-commerce uh, e operators. So, uh, of course, we hope to, uh, to develop that kind of business. Lovely. Thank you again for your comments today and joining us here at CargoCast. And we hope to speak to you again soon. Thank you, Nadia.